Hello there lovely PIF watchers, it's Peaty Peaty Panda here, back from a tiny hiatus. It's been a very hectic last month, but I'm here for your viewing pleasure with something a little bit different from the regular PIF reviews. This PIF review special is going to be counting down my personal top 10 nightmare fuel videos. As ever, feel free to pop a comment down there if you agree or disagree with my top 10, or perhaps leave your top 10. I tend to reply to a lot of comments, so that's up to you. So without further ado, we get straight on to business at number 10, which is a PIF regarding the Millennium Bug. What sort of person would jeopardise your job? Wouldn't listen to warnings? Wouldn't look into solutions? What sort of person wouldn't make one phone call to find out how to save their company from the Millennium Bug? Is it you? Call 0845 601 2000 today. Well, that's scary for obvious reasons. You really don't see the uh, face, or well, or lack of face, coming. With the, the scariness, it's also a little bit silly, given now in hindsight that the Millennium Bug didn't actually happen. And uh, nobody lost their face to it. Well, to my knowledge. If you have any reports of that actually happening, then I would really like to hear from that, but I don't think it did. So, on to the next one. It is the Think campaign with Lucky. If you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's around an 80% chance I'll die. You know, dead children coming back to life and snapping their bones back into place is probably one of the dictionary definitions of the word scary. As before, there's a slight hint of comedy that can keep you going through the horror, in the fact that she's probably more or less accepted that she's going to get hit, she just doesn't want you to kill her. Uh, it also had a radio campaign that scared the shit out of me as well. First personal little anecdote of the evening, and it's about my insomnia as a kid again. When I had trouble sleeping, I'd often listen to the radio just to get myself off to sleep, just to have some noise in the background. I remember a few nights when the radio version of this advert came on and I'd just freeze while I was in bed, just not move. Absolutely terrified. Has anyone had an experience like that? Even listening to it now, it kind of gives me a few shivers. Right, on to the next one. And this is number eight now. And this is the screaming telephone from the Samaritans. Absolutely horrific visuals with the whole sketchy black and white thing. And uh, I kind of think the part of the reason why this advert's so scary is because the stress seems to transfer onto you, with the phone ringing and the people's voices overlapping and then of course the bloody scream. Not to mention the animation style with the telephone with teeth. It's enough to make you never ever want to put a telephone next to your ear ever ever again. Oh, oh well, it can only get better from here, can't it? Right, number seven. This one is from the Lovely Fire Kills campaign and it's called Matilda. Once upon a time there was a dolly called Matilda. She was afraid of the dark. So the grown-ups put a nightlight in the bedroom. One night Matilda thought she could smell something funny. It all happened so quickly. Help! Help! cried Matilda. Sadly, 
this is where the story ends. Now, I don't actually know whether it's actually this scary or whether it's the personal experience that I had with this that was scary. But uh, as of most PIFs that I hate, the story seems to revolve either around when I've seen it when I've been a bit younger or, as I said before, with my insomnia. And one of my things was trying to watch telly to try and make my eyes a bit tired. And just as I was getting up to turn the television socket off and get ready to have a nice peaceful night of sleep, this advert came on. Watching it in its full was probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made because then I, I don't actually think I slept that night, interestingly enough. But uh, anyway, here's another one and I don't actually know what this is called. So down in my notes that I've got here, it's called Melty Face Anti-Drugs Campaign. Pretty much describes it. Spots, rotten teeth, depression, anxiety attacks, personality changes, paranoia. Take speed, echo or acid and you can develop any of them. Interestingly enough, I hadn't seen this one until EA Sports Big 899 had uploaded it. But it definitely made me jump out of my seat when I first saw it. It looks a bit like um, the cheap Photoshop liquify visuals, but with the fucked up noises it really does qualify as nightmare fuel. And that's all I've got to say about that one really, so moving on to the campaign from the League Against Cruel Sports for anti-fox hunting. You'll know which one this is, believe me. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. bastard who murders foxes slowly turn into a weird, ugly monster with something similar to O Fortuna playing in the background is nightmare fuel in itself. But the real horror for this one for me is the very last note of the Carmina Burana-esque song when it fades into the, the hunting we will go. Absolutely terrible. I hate that song now. Even when I hear O Fortuna it makes me a bit ooh. Right, moving on. This one is actually an international one from New Zealand, which uh, I discovered through the wonders of the internet. And it's from the LTNZ and it's called Spin the Wheel. <laughs> Obviously being a native Brit, I've never actually seen it on the television so it's hard to give you an anecdote about this one, but it's enough to make you never want to drive ever. The weird circus music really does 
put the shit is right up here. But it's the sheer demented look of the guy who just so readily deals out fortunes of death and destruction as he looks at every single driver that comes to the intersection. That's what really qualifies as scary. Imagine actually seeing the guy in his wheel at the side of the road. Ooh, it's enough to give you nightmares. According to a comment I saw on one of the YouTube uploads, in some roads in New Zealand they actually propped up real spin wheels and a guy sitting next to them at intersections. I am eternally thankful that Think Road Safety were never that malicious. Can you think of what they would have done? <sighs> well, on the matter of road safety, here's another one, and it is from the DTR and it is called David. Loneliness, emptiness, painful. The younger two children don't understand why I'm in it. They keep saying, apologise and they let you come home. Uh, the old lady that I crashed into, she, um, she died. I sort of wish I could have said something in the hospital, but it's just nothing I could have said, not to make it any better, because nothing would have made it better. Well, as I said before, I think road safety may not have been malicious in their campaigns, but the DATR pulled absolutely no punches on their Millennium adverts. There were three in the series of like this, two of the ones were what is it like to kill somebody, and one of them was uh, what is it like to lose somebody. So you see both sides of the perspective of someone who's died through drink driving. Um, with a very art house cinematography, very trippy black and white sequencing, and vibe vaguely reminiscent of Chris Cunningham and Apex Twin, which has been pointed out extensively in some of the comments, the soundtrack sticks with you for a long, long time. And I don't mean in a nice, catchy way. More in a, you'll probably end up replaying it in your head at 2am kind of way. And that is not really nice. Okay, we're getting into the final two here. And at number two, it's another Fire Kills one. And it's Make Your Plan, Get Out Alive. I think Apple Mask got it right when he uploaded it with the title of An Abyss of Suffering Filled with the Roar of Endless Woe. It's a blast from the past filled with death and implied child death. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'd actually left the video in the background and I just gave myself an almighty fright when it started playing. This is the price I pay for views, isn't it? For reviewing scary things. Oh, back on track. It's a blast from the past, and it's filled with death and implied child death, as I was getting to say before the video started again. And this one was scary, as when you're listening to it, you can hear the smoke alarms of people's houses going off. Fire Kills had spent so much effort on making horrifying adverts to make people remember their batteries and their smoke alarms and to test them. Feels as if they made this one to say, even if you do have a smoke alarm, you're going to die. It feels vaguely threatening, especially with the effects on the voice at the end. This one was on television all the time when I was little, and every time it came on I'd absolutely terrified that I'd end up in my room calling out my mum and dad when the house burned down. PIFs instilled a lot of paranoia in me. I'm not actually sure whether I'm entirely glad for it. So, we've reached it. It is number one. And for number one, it's not really a conventional choice. It's not the spirit of dark and lonely water. It's not an NSPCC one. It's not... Uh, the bloody awful RSPCA ones, it is a fireworks one. And it's scary for reasons that I don't really need to explain. Just watch it and you'll see.
Well, there you have it. In the case of music and sound being the deal breaker, this is the absolute finite proof that sound can be as, if not more frightening than the visuals alone. It makes you wonder how they obtain the noises of the, the crying kids. It just sends a shiver up your spine when you hear it. Not to mention the horrible, soft piano music with the nightmarish low note in the background. The visuals just complete the horror effect, leading you through a place where pain is king for a day on November the 5th. There are looks of anguish from the waiting patients, the parents crying, screaming children. It's not a pretty place. And then you're taken through to a bloody operating theatre and just before you're expecting to get a glimpse at some bloody horrible firework related injury, the camera blacks out. So there you have it. I hate November the 5th. So this is me signing out. I'm your host PGPT Panda and look out for the next PIF review which should hopefully be coming soon. See you later.